against my better judgment, I had asked my wife to come and visit the class I was teaching in the winter of 2011. I was teaching on the Georgia-Florida border, a uh, small regional university. I was teaching the text, The Death of Ivan Ilyich, uh, a tale of materialism, spiritual corruption, and yes, death. As my wife filed into class with the rest of the students, she blended relatively easy, easily with the other undergraduate faces. On her left sat Jason, an Afghanistan army vet. On her right, Susie, a blonde, uh, almost cliched sorority sister. When you're teaching the death of Ivan Ilyich to American undergraduates, you have to let them know that it's just possible they might die one day. This story is just not going to make sense unless you start to wrap your head around your own mortality. As I was teaching, I was, I was kind of leveling this news on my American students. Chuck from Uganda is sitting in the front row with brightly painted purple nails, was nodding enthusiastically, participating fully. Two weeks before, Chuck had told me about his own suicide attempt. On his left, my right, sat London. London is the only one in the story who has kind of sort of a real name. London was so called, she had informed us, more than once, I think, because she had been conceived in London. As you might also guess, London was an expert at the too much information line in the middle of class. As class wound up, Susie, the sorority sister, had had enough, shouting, I'm getting out of here. The Afghanistan army vet, Jason, was informing, again, everybody who could hear that he knew what death was he had been shot at for the past two years. Over that chaos, London is asking me when, when, when will I have exam two graded? She stops in the middle of that particular question, gazes straight at me, and says, you have the most beautiful eyes. Chuck from Uganda shakes his head and waves his painted purple nails at her and says, you're not supposed to say that to a professor. And I can hear the laughter of my newly married, newly pregnant wife filtering over all.